Hello everyone, this is the Fruit of Gamer. Welcome back to some Amnesia Dark Descent. Last time we left off, we were ballin'. Wow, that actually worked. Uh, last time we left, it's been a while. Let's play this. Seems like that every single episode now, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What? Get the fuck back. Ah! <laughs> what a way to He will not see us. He will... What the fuck, dude? Ah! <laughs> Run! 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 Is he still behind us? He's still behind us! He's still behind us! Go, 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 go! Run! <laughs> run, 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 run! Is he still behind Run you fat piece of turd! Uh. 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 Jesus! What? No, no, no! The fucking door's gone now. What the fuck? What? 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 Oh. I became a potato. Ah. Uh. So fat though. I came from that way. Right over there. Ah, oh, Jesus, man. I think I was supposed to go this way. like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters, and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. <laughs> he escaped? 
Where is he now? What? Dead, I guess. What items do I have? God, man. The fuck do you want? Close the fucking door. He's breaking through. Don't worry, he won't see us. Try to tear me apart from me. It's not moving like a freaking pussy. We already died once, remember that? Pick up as many of them as I fucking please. This is not being a 50 minute episode. Tell your guys that right now. Something broke down this door. You I saw the thing, like say like something got broken. Get it back, come on man. You're good. You're good. You can come back from this. I know the wall is a breach. We all. Oh yeah! Dude, I wish I could like talk like that. This door's bothering me, so I'm just gonna go towards it. Someone's playing with dead bodies, and it's not Charlie. Fourth of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join. Pretty sure you guys heard my screams. <laughs> As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Oh, snap. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within. And if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. Oh, shit. The shadow is a sluggish thing. That is bullcrap. That thing field, killed us. Killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. Oh, shit. And you grabbed it, didn't you? I said I didn't care about its powers. And that I should throw it away. Yes, please. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Just shoot yourself. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Asshole. Fucking prick. Only money can, you know, save you. No one's home. Where are you, dick breath? Fucking fight. Dude, excuse me. But I seem to have been invited to a party. Oh yeah. 
Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot I was recording. Sorry. Dude, look at this fucking guy. Just he's just ready. Oh, I broke his foot. Oh, his foot's broken. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. I'll cover you up. It's a blanket. A blanket will. Next time on Amnesia the Dark Descent. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I don't want to play this game right now. <laughs> it's way too goddamn scary.